Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you clicking on that video as always. Today I'm revisiting a scent that when I first tried it, I thought it was disgusting. I hated it. Um, and I will say, I enjoyed the opening quite a bit. The opening I thought was awesome. But an hour or two in during the dry down, something that I can't quite describe started to settle in and it was unwearable. So this scent is hugely hyped within the community in the cheapy world. And it is constantly talked about as one of the best cheapies around, one of the most phenomenal scents for spring and summer. You can't beat this scent. This is the best thing I've ever tried. I mean, it's endless, the amount of praise this scent gets. So I'm like, I wanna like this thing. I truly do, I really wanna like it. I just don't. So what I'm doing is I'm revisiting it. I'm going to give it another shot. I've tried a lot of other fragrances since then, and I've had a lot. I've smelled a lot of things that are unique and different. So I want to give this another shot. I truly do. You guys in the comments, you have a field day. I, I'd love to see what you think about this fragrance. But the scent I'm talking about is Sean John's 3 a.m. I'm going to do a spray on the strip. I'm going to try it. I'm going to spray some on my skin. I'm going to give it some time. I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to come back and really spend a little time with this thing and see what I think and see if my mind has changed about it. I, I as I said, I truly want to like this fragrance because <laughs> everyone loves it. Why do I hate it? If I hate it, then I'm going to try to figure out why. So without further ado, let's get into it. So before we get into the scent, I just want to give a special shout out to Keith over at The Fragrant Life. Keith, the video he did recently on up and coming uh, fragrance YouTubers, he included me in that list. I can't imagine. I, I'm so humbled by that. I have been watching Keith for a very long time, and he's one of the people that inspired me to start my own channel. So to be recognized by someone like Keith, who is an OG in this, uh, that means everything to me. And, and to a, a new YouTuber, uh, fairly new, and someone who's passionate about fragrance, that is means everything. So Keith, thank you again. Thank you so much. I'm gonna make sure to link uh, Keith's YouTube channel in the description below. And if you guys somehow have not seen Keith before, you're in for a treat because his content is excellent. And I also wanna give a shout out to Grown Man Style Lookbook, grown man style lookbook. That's Ryan over there. Uh, he's one of my boys. He's a good friend at this point. We uh, are both relatively new to the YouTube game and he's basically in the rack stores every day trying to get content for his subscribers and show them what's available at these rack stores, Burlington, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. He deserves way more subscribers. If you are not subscribed to Grown Man Style Lookbook, please go over to his channel, watch a couple of his videos. He is dedicated, he is passionate about cheapies and he does it the best, in my opinion. So shout out to you, Ryan. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Now I will say, like I said before, I loved the opening of Sean John 3 AM. This, I paid $14.99 at Burlington for a 50 ml. So there is a 100 ml I think you can get for 20. We all know, okay? You may not know, but Sean John 3 AM has probably, it's the Tom Brady of atomizers. So we'll, we'll spray it in a second here, but the bottle's cool, you know, it's, Nothing special, but I kind of like how it's pretty simplistic. It's all see-through. It kind of looks like blocks of ice. And then you just have that hit of red on the atomizer. And that little band of red says Sean John on it. Kind of cool, simplistic looking bottle, but the atomizer is the real story here. Like I said, it is the Tom Brady of atomizers. Best quarterback to ever do it. Let's, let's look at this atomizer. I mean, Okay, so like I said, I like this in the air. I like this on first spray. So on first spray, I got a lot of bergamot and mandarin orange up top, very citrusy, very fresh. It has a bit of a sweetness, which is probably coming from the fig in this. It also has orange blossom and geranium, along with tonic water and leather and cardamom as well. So like I said, I I'm really happy with the, op the, the opening's beautiful, it's great. 
it's a freshie. Uh, it's a little bit unique with that sort of blend of the citrus along with the fig leaf. I like that. A bit of sweetness along with that cit those citrus notes. Uh, it works really well together. So I'm gonna spray this on skin and see how it is off the skin on first spray. I mean, this atomizer, guys, it's incredible. I'll do it again so you can appreciate it. Um, let's do it this way. I mean, yeah, so ton of bergamot and that orange up top. Okay, so, so far, I don't hate this. It's what I remember. It's the, a really pleasant opening. I am gonna stop recording, give this an hour. And, cause I remember it coming in pretty quickly before but this the longevity that people speak about with this is terrible i guess it has terrible longevity for a freshie you can't really expect much more but uh than what it what people say it gets but where it's so cheap you can over spray it it's not that type of scent although if the scent is reminiscent of what i remember of how it's smelling i would not want to over spray that scent so i'm gonna give this some time and i'll come back and let you guys know what i think a few moments later. All right, guys. So it's been about an hour and a half or so, and I've let this dry down and I've been checking it periodically. It's not a great projector, so it's not like you're getting wafts of it. So I had to keep putting my hand up and smell it. And <laughs> guys, I don't like this one at all. This is what I found. And now that I'm a little more my, I feel my nose is a bit more trained to be able to explain what I'm smelling than when I first tried this. Uh, it is, so that freshness sticks around that, you know, you, it, you're still getting uh, freshness from this uh, fizzy like, almost like an ambroxan fizziness to it. That's probably, I would assume from the tonic. It has a fizziness to it. You can still get that orange blossom, the fig leaf, but there's something under it I think it's the combination of the cardamom and the leather. There's something animalic in this and in not in a good way. I'm not sure what's causing that, but it's almost like, uh, I'm not kidding. It's like a wet fur smell to me, to my nose. Like when a dog comes in from the rain or something, it's just something that is not very pleasant to my nose. And it, it could just be me. Uh, I don't know if other people have had similar experiences with Sean John 3 AM, but there's just a note in it that just will not go away. And it's very harsh to my nose. So what sucks about it is that the it's sort of two worlds when you smell this. I'm still getting that fresh, sweet, citrus top note. Uh, and I'm like, and the fizziness from the, from the tonic water is, it's almost like a gin and tonic beautiful love that part of it but it has that undertone of the like i said an animalic I, you know the leather is there i don't get a ton of the leather there's just something that smells like an animal and i i don't like it it just i don't it's not good <laughs> so yeah i'm disappointed i wish i liked this one uh, you know like i said i think the opening is really nice chalk it up to a cheapy gem that i think is not a gem at all in my opinion i don't I can't recommend this to anyone because I don't like it. So, uh, but I will say that I am going to be giving this bottle away. So for the atomizer alone, it's probably worth the money. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you a fan of Sean John 3 AM? What scent do you despise that everybody else loves? If you let me know that in the comments, that will automatically enter you into the contest. So I want to get this given away to someone who can appreciate it. Like I said, guys, I'm not selling it right now <laughs> very, very well with my impressions of it, but people love this one. And hopefully if you've never gotten your nose on it, you'll love it too. Like I said, I, it's just not for me. So Sean John 3 AM. So we finally broke 600 subscribers and I appreciate all the support from you guys. If you guys like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So you're updated whenever I upload new content, but until then I will see you in the next video.